warning the Duke of Sussex not to do not cut off your lifeline is part of the preparations for his upcoming trip to the United Kingdom. On May 8, the Duke of Sussex will attend a special ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral to commemorate the Invictus Games' 10th anniversary. Although it has not been officially confirmed, the Duke of Sussex may potentially be accompanied on the trip by the Duchess of Sussex and their two children. A public relations professional has issued a caution to the ex-working royal ahead of the trip, which is only a matter of weeks away. The Duke of Sussex has a clear path to reputational revival, stated Edward Coram James of goop.co.uk, speaking to express.co.uk. You don't cut ties with your lifeline when it comes to public relations. A rise in the Duke's popularity in the years ahead is possible, according to the expert. If the Duke has studied the tea leaves and is objective and disciplined enough to make a sustained pivot based on an enduring commitment to causes like Invictus, then I do believe that his popularity will grow significantly in the years to come, Mr. Coram James stated. This is something that will likely have been discussed by the Invictus board, and will be one of a number of reasons why they will have decided to stick with him. In spite of this, the expert thinks the Invictus games may have outgrown their creator and no longer relies on the Duke of Sussex for exposure. According to him, it's still one of the few things people look at the Duke of Sussex positively. In many respects, nevertheless, the event has evolved beyond its original intent. The Duke of Sussex is no longer the go-to guy for media coverage for Invictus. The inaugural games were held in September 2014 in London, and the Duke was the driving force behind its establishment. As a sporting event, the Invictus Games takes great satisfaction in providing a platform for wounded, injured, or ill service members to compete. Canada will host the 2025 Summer Olympics. Canada will host the inaugural Winter Hybrid Games in 2025, as announced by the Invictus Games Foundation. The Duke expressed his excitement over the decision, as stated on the official Invictus Games website. As Invictus continues to adapt and evolve, adapted winter sports will have a worldwide audience at the Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025. With all due respect, I am happy to announce that the Canadian Olympic Committee has partnered with the First Nations to host this year's Games, in the hopes of fostering an atmosphere of truth-telling and healing among Indigenous peoples. Here we have our video. What do you think about this? Make sure to drop a comment before you leave. Thanks for watching, and see you.